Psalms chapter 147, verse 11, and it reads, The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, and those that hope in his mercy. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Makes double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the one hundred percent truth for quarters of the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sisters, I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, four benches, a quick hit. Constantly reminding ourselves of what pleases the Lord, you know, throughout the week. Constantly reminding the body what pleases the Lord throughout the week. And that's what fear. Let's get a definition. Let's get a definition for fear. Okay. Fear. So where is a um? I don't think it's a noun. Let's see. Go here. Fears are now an unpleasant, often strong emotion caused by anticipation or awareness of danger. Damn. To be afraid of, expect, expect with, expect with alarm. To have a reverence, a reverence, a reverential. Uh, of of the most high to be afraid or apprehensive so for for soon you see a man terror the king of terrors horror dread When you think about the Lord, that's what you're supposed to be thinking about. The fear, the dread. Oh yeah, the scriptures goes into that. And let the most high be your dread, something to the effect. But you're always supposed to be always remindful. Oh yeah, let them wisdom. Meeting us in every thought. What's the beginning of wisdom? Fear. The fear of the Lord. Let's get this again though. Psalm chapter 147, verse 11, and it reads, The, the Lord take your pleasure. The Lord Yahweh, the was only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call God and Jesus, taketh pleasure in them that fear Him, and those that hope in His mercy, and were prisoners of hope, and were constantly praying and begging the Lord for mercy. Going right back to Habakkuk chapter three, I'm thinking. Matter of fact, we will get it. So I'm quick. For the whole for the Lord willing to edify. Let's get this. Another quick lesson on fear. You can never go wrong with the fear of the Lord. Let's get this. You can never go wrong with the fear of the Lord, Israel. No. I won't. Verse 2. This pad, I like you got some sense. Here we go. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2, and it reads, O Lord, Yahweh, whose only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call God and Jesus, the names that everyone's going to fear, the names that you don't play around with, you know. The names that, once again, the names that you don't play around with. You remember we just read Psalms 147. The Lord take of pleasure in us fearing them, right? O oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. The majority of our people, we, they hear the words come out and they laugh, they mock, they scoff. But the true servants of the Lord, when they hear this word, they're going to fear. They're going to be afraid. They're going to be terrified of the king of terrors, which is Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus, man. 
Most definitely, the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh, most definitely, the Father of Spirits. The, remember, the scriptures say, um, Fear him, they have the power to kill and cast into hell, which is a condition played out on earth, right? So, once again, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2, and it reads, O Lord, I have heard thy speech from the servants, the prophets. Speaking on the highways and byways, doing sit down videos, so from a song, right? I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of, of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Remember, the Lord taketh pleasure in those that fear him. So when the Lord bring that wrath, Lord willing, the men and the women, the Israelites that fear the Lord, they receive some of that mercy, some of that tender mercy, some of that compassion. When the Lord bring wrath, when he, when he destroys Babylon, you know what I'm saying, bring havoc on on different, on, you know, the other different parts of the earth. But it all starts with the fear of the Lord. Matter of fact, let's get this. Look, I said, just something quick. Something quick, man. Scripture that I think about all the time. As in scriptures that you Israelites out there better be thinking about all the time, which is the fear of the Lord. Let's get this Job. Job 28 and 8. Job 28, verse 28, and it reads, And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh. It was only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That is wisdom. Remember, the Lord taketh pleasure in those that fear him. The Lord say he hates an evildoer. He, he's angry with the wicked every day. He's angry with the wicked every day. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. You want to please the Lord, then fear. Let's get this. Let's get Sirach. Sirach chapter 2. This is something quick. It's really just something quick. It's a quick reminder. Of letting us constantly fear. Always keep that in the, in the back of your mind to fear the Lord. No matter what's going on, no matter what the weather is, no matter who you're around, no matter who you with. Always fear the Lord. That goes for the Lord. First and foremost, I'm doing the video. And the listeners that's listening, let us fear, damn it. For real, for real. We in, the, we, in the, we in the midst of wars. We in, the, we in the midst of class wars. We in the midst of civil wars. We in the midst of um, gender wars. We in the midst of all hell breaking loose. Spirits created for vengeance are everywhere. Everywhere you turn around. And to you turn to the right, you turn to the left. North, east, south, west. There's a spirit created for vengeance. Getting at somebody, man. There's a, there's a storm. There's a flood. You see... So Rock chapter 2, verse 15, it reads, They that fear the Lord, Yahweh, though his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, would not disobey his word. And when we rehearse it to the best of our ability, Israel. We rehearse it to the best of our ability. Because remember, the Lord's watching. I want to get that too. They that fear the Lord would not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will say, they that fear the Lord, they that fear the Lord, they that fear the Lord, they that fear the Lord. You, you say that? They that fear the Lord. The Lord don't want to hear that nonsense from none of us either. But um, I thought, um, uh, well, well, I, 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 the Lord don't want to hear that I shit. Because you're going right, right back to Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind. And lean not into thy own understanding. So the Lord don't want to hear that I, 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 I shit. Verse 16. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing. I tell him. 
Remember the Lord taketh pleasure in those that fear him. So they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Doing the things that you know the Lord is pleased with. That's that's what the Israelites, that's what the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel is going to be doing. The Israelites that fear the Lord, you're going to be doing your best to please the Lord at all times. Whether anyone's around or whether it's a million people around, you're going to do that which is right, right? Right? They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts, meaning they're going to get their minds right and humble their souls in his sight. Look, look this is why right here. Look, let's get this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go right back to that Baruch too. Look, look, look at this, Israel. Look at this. Look at this. Proverbs chapter 15. Let's see. Come on. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3, and it reads, The eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are in every place. Angels are everywhere. Angels are everywhere. Watching. Watching Israel. Unique roles, Latinos, and they don't make any of Israel like men and women. Us. The angels are always watching. The angels are always reporting what we're doing throughout the week. Anybody can look good on camera. Anybody can look good in the public's eye. But we're being recorded when we're not around anyone. Remember that. Let each and every last one of us remember that we're always being recorded. We're always being watched. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3, and it reads, The eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So, yeah, I just want to do something quick, just, just a quick reminder. We got to do the things that are pleasing unto the Lord each and every day to the best of our ability. Because we're constantly being watching. We're just, just the thing, the right thing to do. You see? So Lord willing to hopefully let you know, us edify. Just constantly remind yourself. Matter of fact, I got one more. I got one more. Let's see all this. Um, let's see. Let's see. that remain let's get this right quick let's see because it's really getting ready to go down Israel let's see let's see with me let's see yep so rock chapter 23 because this place called America Babylon the Great the Lord's coming to destroy it but first all oh, hell gonna bring us it ain't look some coming ain't gonna be no water Soon, soon comes not going to be any food. Soon comes not going to be any gas for your vehicle. Soon comes not going to be any help. Soon comes not going to be any 911. All right? Soon comes not going to be any hospital for you to run to. You know, the clinic. Soon come, you're not going to be able to get your prescriptions, your high blood pressure medicine, your, um, what they call it, um, that seizure medicine. You see, diabetes medicine little shots soon come you're not going to be able to get any help from anyone except for the lord just remember that israel soon come it will not be any help it ain't gonna be no phone service you see you gonna be able to call tyrone you see you gonna be able to call martha to bring some biscuits over to the house keep make make you some dinner 
all hell. The Lord, Lord some company ain't gonna be no electricity. The Lord gonna take away all comfort. And the Israelites that was playing around, you're gonna wish you would have started fearing the Lord a long time ago. A long time ago. So Rock chapter 23, verse 27, and it reads, And they that remain shall know the meaning of the elect, the Lord will be part of the whole for number. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than to fear the Lord. You see that? There is nothing better than to fear the Lord. And that there is nothing sweeter. See, there's nothing better than to fear the Lord. I can stop right there. And there is nothing sweeter than to take heed into the commandments of the Lord. So we rehearse it to the best of our ability. But yeah, I just want to do something quick. I just fear the Lord constantly. Let let the fear of the Lord meet you at every, what is what it say? Let wisdom meet you at every thought. Which starts off with the fear of the Lord. Because wisdom is the fear of the Lord. I yeah, just want to do something quick, man. Just a quick reminder for each and every last one of us. When we are around people, fear the Lord. When we're not around no one, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Shalom.